And once again, we have those frontal systems leaving North America and encroaching on the northwestern Caribbean. You can see this one here leaving the coast of the United States, a large plume of a cloud. We obviously will see some of that cold air from the north mixing in with some of the warm air from the south. Obviously, this will lead to the generally cloudy conditions across the Bahamas as well as uh, for Cuba, at least for the next uh, few days. And then behind that, we have uh, yet another frontal system, which will again leave uh, North America and come into the Caribbean. Obviously, that will bring a chill behind it, but still a few showers heading over Cuba as we go through the first part of Saturday. So Port-au-Prince then away from all of that activity will still remain quite tranquil, 32 degrees Celsius likely for both days and through Santo Domingo we're looking at 31. We will introduce a few showers to parts of Jamaica however the next day or so. For the Leeward Islands that we have been seeing those are brisk trade wind showers coming through so it's no surprise that we will be seeing a few of those are brisk showers as we, at least for the next day and then once we get in the tour later on a Friday looking at a lot more brighter sunshine here. For the uh, Windward Islands, there's still uh, some sunshine around uh, for Barbados and uh, for St. Vincent, uh, first thing. But then once we go into uh, the end of the working week through Friday, there will again be uh, that, that line of cloudiness pushing through on the brisk trade winds, bringing you some showers from time to time. Down towards Georgetown, highs of 31 degrees Celsius expected on Thursday. So that's your Caribbean forecast, and that's for me.